I'm Hannah I'm a tutor at Sky Academy and we are looking at the topic of algebra uh, specifically we're looking at the subtopic simultaneous linear equations and this is our seventh video and we are looking at simultaneous equation models so these models use two linear functions to describe a practical situation and the point of intersection or the simultaneous solution is often the solution to a problem um, so we've already had a look at models in a couple of previous videos um, and the models are kind of like a um, plane, a number plane, um, where you draw a graph. But because it models a practical solution, um, it can only be the top quadrant, this number one here, um, because you have to have positive values on the Y and positive values on the X. Um, because it's practical, you can't have negative time. or um, And so that's why we don't use these other three quadrants, which all have negative numbers in them. So let's have a look at some examples. So here we have an example where we're buying and selling books. Income is received by selling a book and it's calculated using the formula where income equals 16N, cost in selling a book is calculated using the formula, cost equals 8N plus 24. So these, this question has been nice. It's given us the equation for income and the equation for cost. Sometimes they won't give you the equations for income and cost and you have to calculate themselves, um, but they have in this um, question. And so what is the income when six books are sold? So we know this is the income formula. So we're going to use that and income is going to equal 16 times six because N is the number of books. And when you do 16 times six, it's going to equal 96. Question B, what is the cost when six books are sold? So we're going to go to cost, um, which is eight um, times six plus 24. And when you do that, you should get the answer 72. So in A and B, we're just using the formulas of cost and income to figure out what it would cost or what the income would be when six books are sold. Now in C, it says draw the graph of the income and the cost on the same number plane. So I'm going to draw up a number plane and remember we just use the first quadrant and so we're just going to use here. These two here, I don't know if that's going to be enough room so I might actually do it down here. And now I'm going to um, do my x axis is going to be my books, the number of books sold. And this is going to be the dollars I make, the profit or the money, the cost. Um, and I'm going to have, I know I need to have at least six books. So I'm going to have six here. I'm going to have uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then my money has to go up to at least 96. So I'm just going to make it go up to 100. And I'm going to go up by 20s, I think. So 20, oh, those lines were not great. Let's just do 100, 80, 60, 40, and 20. There we go. And now I'm going to draw my income in red and so I know when six books are sold I had an income of 96 which would be around about here and now I'm going to figure out on my calculator 16 times 5 so when five books are sold and that equals 80 which might be about there then when four books are sold which is 64 so it could be about there. And now I'm just going to skip to when one book was sold, which would be 16, obviously. 
And now I'm going to draw a line to connect those. Uh, so it's about there. And now I'm going to do the same for my cost, um, except I'm going to do my cost in a different color so we can distinguish between the two. Um, so when six books are sold, the cost was 72. 72 was about here maybe. Um, so and we now I'm going to do the cost for five books, which was 64, so maybe about there. Then I'm going to do for four books, which was 56, so maybe about there. And now I'm going to do when one book was sold was 32, so maybe here, and now I'm going to draw a line to connect those. There we go. So mine's not 100% accurate because I didn't have grid paper and so my um, scales aren't accurate, um, but it's done the job. So let's hopefully we'll be able to answer the rest of the questions. D, use the graph to determine the number of books need to be sold for the cost to equal the income. So when cost and e um, income are equal, that's just going to be the point of intersection or the simultaneous solution because we know that the point of intersection is when X and Y are the same for two lines. And so that would be here at about three. So when three books are sold, the cost and the income were the same. So that's how you do uh, simultaneous equation models. It's just using the point um, of intersection, which is the simultaneous solution, um, and understanding what that means. So in this example, when our um, income was at three books, the cost was also at three books. So after three books are sold, we will start making money. So this in here would be the profit. Everything in here would be the profit. Because, and then this in here would be the loss. Because the cost here is greater than the income, so you will lose money. But here, the income is greater than the cost, so you'll make money, which is the profit. And this point of intersection is generally called the break-even point um, because it's where you stop losing money and you start making money. And we're going to have a look at the break-even point in the next video, in video 8.